Yo. I mean, something out here happen every day, B. Something out here happen every day. Yo, man. Um, the Empire dude that, you know, played our king on the show on Fox Empire was recently arrested. But as you can see right behind me, you know, he's back home trying to come up with his next, well, what a hit. What a hit song. Um... This dude is like spiraling. I don't. I'm a, I don't want to say like out of control, out of control, but you can see like he needs some help. You know, you can see like no one is really like you know really trying to, I guess, you know, point this dude in a in, in the right direction of, of trying to, you know, get himself back on track. Because as you can see, like through the mugshot, um. It's yet another mug. It's, it's yet again another mugshot, and, and him going to jail over. But this time, it's over trespassing, and that's all it said. And they locked him up and had a hundred and fifty dollar bail. I'm like, hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> I mean, this ain't a funny situation, but I think dude was in jail for about a. What he was in jail for about a day. He ain't have $150? Man, it just show you that you could be up here to, uh, one day and you could be rock bottom the next. And, um, <laughs> it said the bond out was cash. I was hoping it is cash because <laughs> if it would have said Zelle or cash app, I would have really felt even more bad for him because, I mean, he had to have somebody to cash up him $150. That's crazy if that was the case. But, um, yeah, man, this is like one of them situations of when you see somebody that you wouldn't expect to hit rock bottom like this and they just hit rock bottom and he got all, like, cuts on his lips like he been, I don't know, like he, the heck, like, like, first of all, how do you even, how do you pause? How do your lip even get like that? I mean, what, what you been chewing on? Like, what you been, you know what I'm saying? What you been rubbing your mouth against concrete? I mean, what are you doing? Like, somebody, like, really need to, like, try to, I mean, I can't even sit up here and say ain't nobody tried to help. Maybe he did have somebody to try to help him, but, you know, when somebody is stuck in they mode and what they want to do, even though it ain't right, but it's just like, you know, you know, it's just like a habit that they go back to and they try to kick back into being, uh, regular and normal one day and one minute and the next minute they back looking cracked out like they've been on some on some shit or whatever so so now I guess you know he he's back normal and um and he's singing I guess he's trying to like uh, pursue a music career uh, but um I'm gonna just be straight up with you man that whole empire you rapping and making music that was just a TV show I don't know if he know this or anybody ever told him this. So now he's trying to sing. But on the show, he was rapping. But that was just a TV show, my nigga. Like, there ain't no need for you to try to, like, try to really pursue this because this is not Fox. This is not Empire. But if this helps, if this helps you stay on the right course and not fall back into getting another mugshot and getting locked up over some stupid mess, then, hey, man, go ahead and do your thing. Whatever that helps you stay in that right mind space, in that right mind frame, I feel like you should do that. So if this is his way of therapy and, and making sure that he's on the, that he stay on the right path and try to get his, get his career back the way it needs to be, then feel free and go ahead and do your thing. But I wouldn't be surprised if he, you know, do something else stupid and you know we'll see him making another mugshot you know with another mugshot of I mean this is like a continued thing it's almost like if any conspiracy theorists that theorists out there you know saying or may think like is this some sort of type of humiliation ritual I mean of him just looking stupid in all these mugshots and with him getting locked up for it's just like even more dumber it seems like as if like this is like a public humiliation thing for him to try to get back on. But I'm no conspiracy theorist or whatever, so 
I'm not finna sit up there and try to go along with that. But what I will say, it, it is kind of funny how it's always, you know, him getting locked up over something stupid. And it's just like non-threatening stupid. You know what I mean? It's just like a cry for help. Like, hey, look at me type of situation. You know, he having these hey, look at me moments because Empire was anything that he really like was really known for, known for. Anything, everything after Empire that he um, been in, or I'm not going to even say everything, but the one project that I did see him in where he had like braces and he had like the mystical hair braids, um, that movie was trash. So, I mean, it wasn't like he was, he wasn't still trying to pursue his career on the right track he was hustling you know make, trying to make a way but when those calls stopped and then that whole writer strike thing he went crashing crumbling you know it's like man like this is what the thing that I have to say about um, actors out there actresses man um, don't let acting and, and being an actress be your end all be all man you know what I'm saying like you know you gotta you know you gotta be hustlers of multiple different things you can't just be just you know one thing and one thing only. I know that's what they want uh, us black people to be, you know, in one shell and one box. They don't want us to like showcase our creativity and talents in different avenues because they want, you know, black people to be, you know, just one thing. They want to limit us to just one thing. So when that thing isn't popping anymore, we just looking ass. We just looking like we assed out. So that, that's one reason why they don't like to put people on in the industry that have more than one talent because they want you to rely on just that one thing. So if that, like I just stated, and as I reiterate, if that slow down or if things not popping on more in that department, you know, they got you. Versus. If you have multiple things going on and multiple um, sources of income, they can't stop you because you got multiple talents. You have more than one thing. They can't just put you in one box. See, with him and his situation with music is that he's not really an artist. You know, he's like he's an actor. So with him trying to make music, you know, that's not guaranteed to work out for him. I'm not saying it won't, but it's not a guarantee that that will work out for him just because he was on the show rapping and making music on the show. And I guess that's what he what he thought. So now he's back trying to doing that because the calls, the phones ain't ringing from Hollywood. So he got to just, you know, go back to the music. It's like these people don't really know what to do with themselves once they, you know, n not in the limelight anymore. They don't know how to focus and sit sit back and you know uh, draw up the playbook again to try to figure out other ways of trying to, you know, make sources of income. You know, they just so stuck and just so comfortable into just being in just one box. Like, they really don't know how to be creative and just think of other outlets of sources of income. And that's crazy to me. You got this thing, like the internet, Google, where it's just like, there's a lot of things on the internet that bring you insight and um, revenues of how to make money without scamming. You just got to just be creative enough and, and just have enough knowledge to build upon what you're researching about and find out a way to be able to make some cash, man. But when you were active and you so used to being in front of the cameras, you wouldn't want to see yourself doing that enough. But you got to humble yourself. I mean, look at the, look at the kids on the, that was on the Bernie Mac show. Like, they doing OnlyFans. Both of them doing OnlyFans now. And I'm saying that to say that that's not a good thing, but you have to hustle and find other different sources of income when everything is up, when the chips is falling on the other end. That's just a fact. Now, for his sake, I will hope that he don't do no, don't do no OnlyFans and that he can find something that's more, um, that can make him, you know, I guess, just something different, man. Just something different. Something different, but not nothing that's going to make him look crazy. 
But I don't know. Maybe he's going to audition for all the Queen's men next. <laughs> Since he always walking around with his shirt off. Um, who knows, man? But um, this Sensei Reality TV, I just want to give y'all the update. And his name is Brashear Gray. Um, so, um, yeah, I hope this brother get all the help he need. And I hope you stay off whatever it is that he's been on. Coke, crack, whatever. I don't know. But stay off of it and just get his mind back, you know, in a good mind space and positivity and finding his way back to to the grind, man, to the focus of, you know, pursuing his dreams or, or other things other than just, you know, acting if that, if, if he have any more other talents other than just that. Because the music, you might as well just let that go. The music is all, the, the economy and the music right now is at all time low. But if you want to just do it for fun, cool. But um, that's all I really got for this, man. Sensei Reality TV, I'll let y'all later. Y'all know what it is. One love. Peace.